All right. <clears throat> uh, thank you all for joining this session. My name is Satish Bandhu. I'm the technical leader for CFD at Vitals PLM. And I'm your host for this session. Welcome you all to the sixth webinar in series on topics of CFD. And today's topic is CFD solutions for aerospace and different in industry. Unlike last few webinars, this webinar is focused more at an industry level rather than looking specifically at a certain topic of CFD. The outline for this session is as shown here. Uh, firstly, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our company, Vitals PLM, on who we are and what we do. Uh, I'm not going to spend much time here, on, and then we move on to the brief introduction to Sim Center CFD Solutions, as well as the integral part of complete PLM solution offerings from Siemens Digital Enterprise. And then we spend some time in understanding the need for innovation with simulation practices. And finally, we spend a much time on topic of the day, CFD solutions for aerospace and defense industry, and how these solutions helped uh, to solve some real world engineering challenges in the form of case studies, followed by the question and answers to the end of this session. Uh, Vital Spillam has multiple industry experience, namely oil and gas, uh, machinery and equipment, nuclear, medical devices, and manufacturing and automotive. And we are based out of Houston in Texas. Vital Spillam is a smart expert solution partner to Siemens PLM products to sell a uh, product like Star CCM Plus, FEMAP, and X Nastron. Amazing, uh, which is a system level engineering software, BDS battery design studio for battery simulations, heats uh, for multi objective design exploration and optimization, and Flow FD, which is a CAD embedded uh, CFD solution for design engineers, uh, CAD engineers. Vital Spillum have a team consisting of uh, mostly PhDs and masters having background in solid mechanics, uh, fluid mechanics. Uh, materials and corrosion, optimization and reliability, and data analytics. We also provide engineering consulting services, and also we cater our services for the automation and customization needs of the organizations like uh, Python scripting and so on. Uh, when it comes to CFD, uh, Vital PLM has uh, capabilities with its switch consulting experience, delivering some of the challenging projects in the oil and gas and process industries and these projects involve physics like erosion, corrosion, fluid section fraction, mixing and separation and acoustic source modeling. On the marine and offsets, offshore industry side, uh, Vital PLM has experience with uh, uh, projects like jumper, VIV, vortex induced vibration, floating systems, ship dynamics and pipeline VIV and tanks launching in the marine applications. A brief introduction to SimCenter CFD solutions. Uh, SimCenter offers market leading CFD solutions uh, for all the persona in the industry. Uh, starting with the SimCenter Flow FD, it's a solution for CAD engineers. SimCenter Flow Therm, it's a solution for thermal engineers who do uh, thermal simulations such as electronic cooling and thermal management studies. And SimCenter 3D is a solution for structural engineers where sometimes they need to do FSA problems, where the idea is to see uh, solve the both flow and the structural aspects of the problem, be it a one way or two way. And finally, the the Sim Center have also have a Star System Plus, which is the integrated multi physics solution for CFD engineers who do all kinds of analysis. Uh, to better understand the offering offerings from the Sim Center, uh, the CFD solutions are grouped according to the level of usage by key roles in the industry, like designers, analysts, and researchers. Starting from the left, if the designer, designer or CAD engineer are interested in flow or thermal simulations, Sim Center Flow FD or Sim, Sim Center Flow Therm are the recommended solutions. On the other hand, if the analysts are solving moderately complex problems, which involves multidisciplinary cases like FSI, CHD, conjugate heat transfer, EMAG, electromagnetic uh, simulations, Sim Center 3D or Sim Center Star System Plus to some extent are recommended solutions from Sim, Sim Center. 
and finally the, for the research purposes uh, by both analysts and researchers where there is a requirement for uh, much more sophisticated models uh, the multi-purpose uh, cfd code star system plus is the way to go and out of all these solutions uh, our focus for this session is only on flow CFD, flow fd and and star system plus from the sim center portfolio sim center flow fd uh, it's a solution with cad engineers and it's a cad embedded software a CFD software available on the main CAD environments like NX, SolidEdge, Ketia, Creo. And it's useful for front loading of CFD in the early stages of product development life cycles in a big organizations. Since it is a, uh, available at the native CAD level, uh, there is no need to simplify geometry for fluid, ex like fluid volume extraction or defeaturing some unwanted geometric aspects uh, we typically do for uh, when, when we set up CFD simulations. So those kind of things are not needed uh, when, when flow FD is used for CFD analysis. And the proprietary smart cell technology for the meshing available in the flow EFD uh, allows the users uh, with the minimal user interventions for creating meshes. Meaning to say that it's, uh, auto, with, with its automated meshing algorithms, uh, the, the setup is quite minimal. Uh, from the user point of view. And the solvers uh, available in the flow EFD are accurate, proven accurate and robust and then well, well known in the industry for a long time. And flow EFDs also have uh, inbuilt design space exploration tools to evaluate uh, hundreds and thousands of designs to find better designs. Here in this, uh, here we can see uh, different uh, examples of flow EFD uh, starting from Top, we see uh, uh, automotive application with the uh, the defogging of the, the headlamp in the automotive in the automotive vehicle, and then we have uh, electric motor uh, heat transfer analysis, and then we have engine block heat transfer analysis, and then uh, on the other side we have aerospace application with the landing gear and the opening configuration. We also have uh, one life science uh, application where we see the flow inside the, uh, the, the ventilator. And then we also see uh, conjugate heat transfer in the heat, heat exchangers from the, from the different industries, common to different industries. Star System Plus um, is a multi-physics multi solution for CFD engineers. And with its, with its single integrated user interface, uh, Star System Plus helps uh, users to cover complete application scope um, uh, with its broad range of validated models uh, for various disciplines. Uh, Star System Plus have a bidirectional and CAD and PLM associated uh, by this. Uh, it allows uh, the Star System Plus to interact seamlessly with other tools in the uh, typical product lifecycle environment in any organization. And so it's massively parallel, starting from CAD to all the way to the solution and post-processing. It also got inbuilt uh, design exploration tools. And needless to say that the Star System Plus is the only safety software having market leading data analyst tools. And here we can see uh, from these animations right in front of us, uh, uh, the beautiful uh, animations are created by the, uh, the, the post-processing, the beautiful post-processing techniques for the data analysis. So we see the flow around the drone in the coring position. And then you have on the bottom, you have the example of highly turbulent flow around the landing gear in its opening configuration. And you have a, a defense vehicle uh, just entering into the pool of water solved by volume of fluid method in Star System Plus. And you have one example for the electronic cooling as a heat transfer problem. And then uh, there's a uh, Booster separation solved by Worsit uh, mesh technology within the Star System Place for uh, this defense application. I've been keep on talking about the Sim Center, and Sim Center is actually a bigger portfolio that combines uh, best in class uh, CA simulations, all the uh, CFD solutions we have seen so far Flow EFD, uh, Sim Center Star System Place, Flow Term and uh, Sims in the 3D are, are all part of the CA simulation category. 
and besides that uh, there are tools for system simulation and tools for testing and as well as the uh, tools for design exploration and analytics and all these simulations and solutions are worked together under one umbrella uh, helping the engineers to innovate uh, to bring products faster to market with greater confidence so that's how the tagline goes engineer innovation so sim center helps the users to in engineer their innovation So continuing with the innovation, uh, it's need needless to say that we are in the era of innovation. And it's about to mention a quote from the famous person of recent times, uh, Mr. Elon Musk became a celebrant of innovation by his recent success with SpaceX. And he says, uh, any company that stays stationary with their technology will be exceeded by their competitors. And nobody wants to be taken over by their competitors. So innovation is very important uh, uh, today to survive in the industry and compete with the uh, competitors. Uh, keeping innovation in mind, uh, there is a need for redefining the simulation strategy. Uh, when companies started using simulations in their product process life cycle, uh, initially it was at the reactive mode to validate results and troubleshoot uh, the design failures or performance with the help of insights from the simulation. Later, it went to a stage where uh, the simulations are used for the purpose of uh, predicting design performance upfront of the product life cycle. And today, the companies uh, which are on the innovation path uh, push the boundaries of uses of simulation to automate uh, the whole simulation process quickly to explore hundreds and thousands of designers, designs in order to find the better designs. So uh, the companies, uh, most of the companies are uh, at, at, at validation, troubleshooting, and prediction stage, and the companies which are on the innovation path, they, they adapted the automation and exploration into their simulation practices uh, by, so that uh, the, the, they can try the uh, innovation through the simulation practices. So to illustrate the scenario um, at innovative companies, uh, we, we, we have the example of uh, Trust Reverser, and this is from the UTC, United Technologies Aerosystems, uh, which, which makes the thrust reversers and it supplies to all the major air framers. And here from this schematic, you can see that the, the, the way the thrust reverse reverser uh, operates, it's actually reverse the thrust uh, to apply, uh, to, to make the, the la landing shorter. And here the idea is to uh, use the simulation for uh, getting the better designer uh, designed for the thrust reverser so that it can improve the uh, uh, thrust perform reverse thrust performance by thrust coefficient and then and then uh, and also the improvement in the plume angle so here uh, in this um, example uh, the design parameters are the the shape of the bull nose and then the blocker door size and then the angle of uh, turning winds so having these design parameters um, so design space exploration has been set up using star system plus and then you can see uh, uh, the populating uh, the designs uh, with respect to the trust coefficient and then we can see a friend uh, which is connecting the the better designs um, which are satisfying the uh, design criteria the optimization criteria so uh, starting from the baseline design the improved design at the end of the design space exploration, we see at 49% improving the uh, reverse thrust uh, with, uh, with the increase in the uh, plume angle by 18%. So this is how uh, the companies which are which are on the path of innovation using simulation practices uh, by exploring more number of uh, designs uh, uh, with with the uh, with these tools like Starsys and Plus, which can help support and help uh, the innovation needs. So to achieve the design, uh, better designs faster, uh, there is a need for robust pipeline uh, workflows. And uh, using that, users can get the uh, increased simulation throughput. Here, uh, we see the pipeline, uh, which is seamless, seamlessly integrated with the heat, which is the uh, multi-objective design um, optimization software uh, to the simulation tool, Stasi Sim Plus. And all the way from CAD parameterization uh, in the CAD software and then uh, simulations are in the start is in place and then um, optimization studies in the heat. So everything is seamlessly uh, looped uh, effortlessly. 
to find the better designs faster. So here we can see, uh, uh, you can see the, from the heat analysis, we could able to see uh, infeasible designs and the feasible designs uh, out of all the designs explored in the design space. Uh, and also we can see that the, the design with the number one rank. Um, so here there's a pie chart we see there are total 635 evaluations and out of that 350 are feasible, 284 are infeasible and 97 designs better than the baseline. So here the example is the uh, A-trap glider ship optimization with the design uh, parameters for um, the sh to get the uh, better shape for the A-trap glider shape. And the objective is to increase the lift to drag ratio and at and at the also same time decreasing the wing bending movement so that uh, the final design can give a, a better uh, glider shape uh, for the aircraft. And in the aircraft design, uh, star system plus is, is used almost everywhere where the simulation is necessary or required. Uh, starting from the cabin, Simulations are used in the cabin ventilation studies and cabin design studies and also cabin noise studies, be it inside uh, the noise generated by the climate systems or the turbulent boundary layer noise uh, outside of the cab, uh, the fuselage, ECS in, in light, uh, environmental control systems in light, icing on the wing, avionics excluding platform design, and the vertical tile uh, wing design, body design, uh, so all, all these areas where the simulation is uh, became a standard practice, where star system plus is used in the in the current uh, aerospace industry. Further, in the air, aircraft engine design, also a star system plus is used in all the key areas such as uh, engine aircraft integration, thrust reverse design, which I have seen in the previous example, engine bay thermal analysis. It's a thermal management uh, analysis, which is very much required for aircraft engine design nozzle design, uh, inlet at the NACLI, uh, exhaust system design. All these uh, uh, key applications became uh, standard practices, standard items for the simulations to be performed uh, to get a better performance for the aircraft engine uh, design. So here are the focus applications where we're going to touch the base with the case studies uh, out of the many uh, applications shown in the previous slides. Uh, starting with the aero engine design, we'll have a, a case study of how the companies uh, use starches in place or simulations to get uh, benefit out of uh, simulations. Uh, and then they followed with aerodynamics, fluid structure interaction, a propulsion, ECS, environmental control systems, thermal management, avionics, um, BT oil, the vertical takeoff, landing and unmanned air vehicles, finally the aerocaustics. We'll see each and every uh, focused area with, uh, with the following by uh, case study uh, in a key application area. Uh, in aircraft engine design, the thermal management analysis is the key thing as there are many metal parts of different metal properties in the complex design of the engine. And these parts need to be assessed with their built up metal temperatures. So here using uh, star system plus, uh, the actual geometry of this complex system, uh, the aircraft engine with all these uh, complex parts and tiny parts to big parts are an analyzed uh, in star system plus uh, by taking, without compromising on the geometry fidelity, uh, taking the true geometry and then using the uh, technologies like surface wrapping and automated mesh technologies. Uh, the, uh, one of the larger commercial air framer uh, got the benefit of using these simulations. They they could see the increased meshing throughput by 428%. And also they see the improve, improvement in the solution accuracy because uh, there is no compromise on the geometry geometric fidelity. And here we see a testimonial from the senior propulsion engineer from the largest large commercial air framer. And uh, by his testimonial, it is evident that using uh, implementing simulation practices uh, in the uh, simulation workflows, uh, the users can see a clear benefit of reducing the total turnaround time from uh, several weeks to few days. So that's the advantage of um, having simulations uh, in, in the in the uh, some of the applications in the aerospace industry. 
uh, this is again the, the example repeating which we have seen uh, to demonstrate the need for the innovation um, so here uh, the for the CAD parameterization NX is used and for flow simulation the star system is used and these are seamlessly connect integrated with the, the optimization software called Optimate uh, to evaluate uh, more than 200 design candidates within uh, within a time of two weeks to get the uh, to get the better design and which can give uh, uh, improvement of 14 percent in the thrust performance at the same time improving the plume angle from 127 to uh, 150 degrees which is 18 percent improvement and the next focus area um, in the line is the aerodynamics uh, and out of this uh, focus area the key applications where uh, cfd can be used is the uh, aerodynamic optimization drag prediction stability and control aero loads generation uh, it's impor important for uh, some of the companies aerospace companies to populate these kind of uh, aero loads data uh, so that they can uh, take the confidence of the virtual prototyping in the place of a physical prototyping uh, typically the uh, wind tunnel test and then uh, we uh, the other application where cfd can be used is the engineer frame integration uh, analysis a fairing design and aeroelastic calculations here in this example we see uh, uh, jcm it's a uh, call for joint common missile and the, the aerodynamic analysis of this jcm uh, by sweeping it from the angle of attack from minus 20 degrees to 20 degrees and we what we see here is the drag uh, from varying the angle of attack drag and lift and which uh, it can demonstrate the uh, the aerodynamic performance of uh, this kind of missiles and the next example next case study uh, for the aerodynamics is uh, from the from the defense organizations called ADD and they have used star system plus for the aerodynamic analysis of their fighter jet and the testimonial from, again the testimonial from the director of the flight centers from this defense organization ADD uh, clearly shows the the value of the simulations uh, to reduce the cost of uh, wind tunnel testing by factor four and uh, and it's not easy to replace and get the congruence of the simulations uh, uh, because uh, unless they are proven uh, accurate uh, by different uh, validation studies and in that aspect star system plus used in all the uh, common uh, AAA aerodynamic workshops like drag prediction workshop uh, high lift workshop and with different um, validated models uh, it, it reached a stage where the companies uh, can take star system plus results into confidence for uh, from both from the low speed um, application to the high speed applications here we see uh, the lift coefficient uh, uh, for this particular jet aircraft jet fighter uh, to different angle of attack and also uh, uh, the star system plus uh, provides uh, different uh, simulation techniques to capture the uh, key aerodynamic features with automatic solution refinements and also for high speed applications there is grid sequencing to get the quicker kind of convergence and needless to say that the automation automating meshing uh, available in the star system plus it's a, uh, it's a, it can save a lot of time in the pre-processing and the total turnaround time for each simulation and thus uh, for the total design space exploration And the next uh, focus area is the fluid structure interaction. Uh, and uh, uh, the key, some of the key applications for the CFD are uh, the aeroelastic predictions, wing flutter. Here, with the, the example we see is the, uh, the wing flutter analysis. And uh, the turbines and compressors part of the aircraft, uh, they also undergo some uh, aeroelasticity and the fans, which are part of, again, the aircraft, they also undergo some fluid structure interaction problems. Landing gate doors, again, they also undergo uh, some kind of uh, uh, the, the, the fluid loads, the aerodynamic loads, fuel pumps and propellers. And uh, the the solution offerings from the star system plus for, to address this fluid structure interaction are at different levels, um, depending upon the level of complexity and accuracy. Uh, if it is a tight couple, the core simulation uh, FSF problem, Star system plus have multiple offerings. Uh, uh, for two-way coupled uh, FSA problem, 
uh, you can couple the flow solver and the structural solver, namely computational solid mechanics in the charge synthesis. And also uh, there is a DFBI, dynamic fluid body interaction. Uh, it's a one kind of FSI uh, technique uh, to take into account of uh, some of the FSI problems. And there's a finite volume stress model availability within the star system place where for the structural deformations, uh, this FE stress model can be used. And also uh, there, are, there are means to couple with, uh, tightly couple with abacus for structural deformation studies. And when it comes to loosely coupled uh, problems, uh, star system place allows uh, to couple with the Naston and Fusion abacus. Here we see uh, the wing plot analysis uh, of this aircraft. Uh, that's actually by by solving the uh, the structural part in a, in a, in abacus and then the mapping continuous mapping from the uh, structural data onto the CFD model, so that uh, uh, the model can converge to a fluttered scenario under the uh, aerodynamic uh, loading conditions. Uh, the next uh, focus area is the propulsion, and uh, these are the uh, some ap application areas where CFD can be used. Uh, CFD can be used for engine integration, thrust reverse. We have seen inlet design analysis, propellers, jet engines, rocket motors, scramjet, nozzle design, and f fuel delivery systems, and fuel sloshing. And sometimes um, in propulsion, the heat transfer is is an important issue. So. Uh, with, with with having having solids uh, in the system, uh, conjugate heat transfer analysis and nozzle cooling are important analysis items for uh, for effective design of the propulsion systems for the aircraft. And also the, the blade cooling of the turbine the turbine blades, the combustion design, cooling and exhaust, fuel system design, heating and cooling. These are the um, key application areas in the propulsion systems. Here we see a case study of uh, rocket-based heating problem, uh, where the star system is used to understand uh, the the base heating, uh, the rocket base. Here we can see a pad which is uh, which is above these uh, rocket nozzles, and uh, the results from the star system plus are are in well agreement with the NASA predictions. You can see uh, uh, the graph shows the uh, the predictions compared with the NASA results uh, for the. Uh, uh, for the, the mean base heat flux, that's the that's the uh, the quantity which is shown in this plot, and it's in which is in well agreement with the uh, NASA results. Not only that, uh, uh, it's also important sometimes uh, along with the accurate predictions, uh, the solution should be quick enough, and this uh, our problem is solved within uh, 17 hours. So. It's a clear example of uh, accurate prediction, uh, accurate and quicker prediction of uh, these kind of problems in the aerospace industries. And uh, in the environmental control systems, uh, the key applications include uh, cabin comfort models, ducting and heat exchangers, avionics coolings, and ice, ice protection because sometimes uh, the the main wing uh, uh, and is, is subject to the ice accretion, and then uh, the, there are there are some systems which can take care of the ice accretion by blowing the hot air, so that uh, it will not affect the aerodynamic performance of the aircraft. And uh, compartment ventilation, which is important again for the uh, comfort of the uh, the travelers in the in the aircraft, fogging and defogging on the on the uh, the pilot uh, uh, cockpit uh, the windows uh, for the clear visibility, cabin acoustics again. That's a um, air acoustic problems uh, quite quite often experienced in the cabin level uh, uh, simulations. Um, in the ECS uh, uh, focus area, the case study we uh, see here is the uh, air bleed system uh, from the from the Airbus. And uh, here, the the goal here uh, in the simulation, uh, the static air mixture, which is part of the air bleed system, and the the objective of this uh, static air mixture is to precondition the hot and cold air coming from the different parts. And here, the hot 
bleed air is coming from the engine compressor and then uh, the cooling air is coming from the engine's fan and then we want both come together and mixed uh, by the static air mixer and uh, and then further the downstream uh, this mixed air will will be used utilized by both uh, being ice ice protection system for uh, heating the ice accreted ice on the wing as well as the uh, air conditioning systems so there is a sensor here uh, and the the design goal is to have a temperature variation to be less than 12 degrees and uh, initial uh, case study uh, initial result by Airbus uh, took six months and then um, the temperature difference uh, variation they achieved is the 45 degrees or 45 K with the, with the desired pressure drop of 5,000 Pascal. And so using uh, STARS is in place, uh, a design space exploration study is set up and then using the uh, design goals to keep the temperature difference or variation to be below 12 degrees and the pressure drop across the uh, static mixer to be less than five kilopascal. And the, the design parameters for static air mixer are the the uh, the depth of um, uh, the cut into the duct and the width of the helical duct and the radius of the curvature in the helical channel. So having these three uh, design parameters, uh, the uh, the design space exploration study in the stars is able to find out 11 feasible designs which can uh, give the temperature variation to be around 12 degrees and then uh, the pressure drop to be around 5000 pascals. And out of this, we can see that the final design uh, from the uh, baseline um, compared to the baseline, the temperature variation to be uh, around 13.5 degrees. Well, at the same time, uh, it, the it's maintaining the, the static mixer design, maintaining the pressure drop to be 5,000 Pascal across the system. So, uh, so having this kind of studies, uh, Air Papers had seen a tremendous decrease in the uh, design cycle time from six months to two weeks. And they, they, the reduction in the temperature from the 44 degrees to 13.4 degrees is all the way is 91%. That's, uh, significant improvement uh, when it comes to the performance of the static air mixer. And the next focus area is the thermal management and uh, some of the key application areas where CFD can be used is the uh, pilot heat, pilot heating, uh, ECS heat exchangers, uh, solar radiation, where uh, when the aircraft is traveling, uh, the solar radiation, sometimes it's in, there's a need to perform the solar radiation studies aerothermal heating, hot gas impingement, and radiative heating. So out of the, the application areas uh, mentioned in the previous slide, uh, we see a case study on the hot air impingement uh, uh, from the uh, European helicopter manufacturer. And they have used uh, star system plus to study the effects of uh, hot gas impingement on the fuselage of the helicopter and uh, they have used the co-simulation approach to see the built-up temperatures because of the, the impingement of the hot gas and the star system plus results are compared to the competitor and uh, this uh, it's and uh, and the results by the star system plus are quick enough uh, uh, very quick, quick enough compared to the competitor and the helicopter uh, european helicopter manufacturer uh, would able to see uh, uh, the time of the, within the separate time, they were able to increase the design space by four times. And this is the testimonial from the technical fellow from the propulsion aerodynamics group from the European helicopter manufacturer. So the, all this achieved, uh, uh, achieved by uh, the sophisticated options available in the star system plus uh, here, uh, the the pre processing time can be increased by 500% by reducing the uh, the processing time so that uh, there would be a design throughput increased by 500%. And with the minimal uh, geometric uh, changes, uh, there's high accuracy and the and the digital twin of the uh, actual systems are quite resembling uh, because there is no much changes in the geometry. And um, and 
and the full fledged parameter using the CAD for exploring the quick design changes uh, helped to find the better designs faster by by looking at the four times bigger design space. So that's the advantage of using uh, simulations in the in the uh, uh, in the design stage uh, of uh, of these kind of systems. And next key uh, focus area is the avionics, um, sometimes called payload or electronic schooling. And some of the key applications where safety can be used, uh, think of uh, is the complex geometry and flow paths, uh, conjugate heat transfer, uh, forced or passive school, schooling, a uh, fan performance because uh, in, in the uh, fans are part of the avionics systems and acoustic sometimes um, there's um, acoustic issues in the avionics systems and dust accrual, accrual. and this it is again um, a problem common problem for in the avionic system that dust uh, accumulation on these uh, uh, avionic systems exposed to the atmosphere and also um, there is sometimes there's a need for analysis at the individual component to full system so the case study uh, we see here is for the uh, air transport rack and this is the common chassis used in the as part of the avionics systems and um, and all the big air framers like boeing airbus and northrop grumman they use uh, they buy these atrs from the atr manufacturers and the idea is to uh, have a design which can uh, which can support different configurations from the different air framers uh, and the 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 common chassis supports the different uh, cards for the purpose of uh, uh, for the purpose of signal uh, system control signal processing data data recording and navigation so each air framer have their according to their own requirement they have different set of different configurations of these cards for various purposes and uh, all these uh, cards uh, to some extent uh, dissipate some some uh, some level of heat and then the atr designer the manufacturer uh, design should ensure that there is a sufficient cooling to take care of this uh, uh, dissipating heat and here uh, the star system plus is used uh, to see uh, uh, whether the atr design is able to uh, sustain um, uh, the power per slot uh, with the condition of cot edge temperature that's the required design requirement to uh, to have 85 degrees so the built up temperature should be below 85 degrees so that uh, that's the point where up to which uh, the power per slot can be uh, can be accommodated by the atr uh, design so uh, here we see uh, the power per slot at different altitudes and uh, for different uh, ambient temperatures uh, by keeping uh, the constant of uh, the cottage samples to be 85 percent so uh, so by iterative process the power per slot has been achieved by looking at different designs uh, various designs hundreds of designs in a design space exploration by having this combination of operating conditions of different altitudes and uh, different ambient temperatures uh, next focus area is the VTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing and unmanned aerial vehicles. Again, um, some of the uh, key applications for CFD one could, one could think of is avionic schooling, aerodynamic loads, aeroacoustics, battery heating, electric motor design, and popular performance. Joby Aviation is, uh, is an innovative company uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the aerospace. Uh, with their unconventional, un unconventional uh, design for the aircraft, electric aircraft, they have used Tarsis and Plus to see the value uh, of simulations to predict the uh, the thrust performance, the vertical thrust performance, uh, uh, and also they have used to see uh, uh, the trade-off between the rotor performance, uh, with the drag of the pull, because in this uh, in this kind of unconventional aircraft, uh, the rotor uh, in the water rotor uh, creates the lift thrust and as well as it propels when it's uh, in the folded blades condition so it's important to see what is the trade-off between the the rotor performance to create the sufficient lift thrust and also what is the drag induced when it's in its uh, folded configuration so uh, using the starts in place they would be able to see the value 
of the simulations and uh, it helped to uh, decrease uh, their prototyping uh, cost and also accelerate their project timeline because they they could able to see more designs quick fast fastly uh, so that they gave a chance them to find more designs um, so this is the testimonial from uh, from the aeronautic engine alex stall from the job innovation that um, the star uses of star system place at the early stage of uh, design helped them to find efficient designs uh, which uh, which uh, fulfill their design criteria for the aerodynamic performance Here we see um, the aerodynamic performance of the rotors, different rotor designs, and also uh, the, the lifting thrust produced by these rotors are validated with the uh, validated for different uh, design uh, changes. The next focus area is the aeroacoustics, and and for the aeroacoustic analysis, the starches and the offerings are uh, covers from. Uh, from all the way from the source characterization to the propagation. So uh, to, do, to perform the aeroacoustic analysis for the aerospace applications, it's required to have uh, uh, sufficient tools and necessary tools for a source characterization uh, in a transient fashion uh, for, for the uh, near field propagation, propagation to the mid field and far field propagation. And, uh, and also sometimes uh, the propagation for the far field, uh, there is a requirement for other methods like integral methods like the FWH, William Hawking's uh, uh, methods. And, and there's an, also uh, a need to integrate with the other uh, acoustic tools like cis noise and actron. So all these options are available in the star system place to, to better address the aeroacoustic um, requirements of the aerospace industry. Uh, here you will see the case study of the landing gear from the Bombardier airspace where they have used star system plus. And here we see uh, uh, in the opening configuration of the landing space, there is a lot of turbulent flow and then become a uh, source for the noise generated in its landing, op landing gear opening configuration. And here we see um, uh, in the animation, we see the fluctuating pressures, which become the source for the noise, uh, propagating all in all directions from the from the uh, landing gear. And uh, the star system plus results are uh, well compared with the test results. Uh, and uh, the, here again, we have a testimonial from the uh, aerospace engineer from the Bombardier, and uh, they have seen the value of the star system plus and well validated results, so that. They can be taken into confidence to try uh, to replace the expensive uh, physical prototype testing by the virtual prototype testing for for the design changes. And the next case study uh, in the in the focus area for acoustics is the art uh, from the art engineering. Uh, the here we we see this device. It's called uh, air brake. Uh, it's a uh, unique drag device to make the landing fighter. So, uh, so uh, the simulation uh, for the simulation, the star system is used to to evaluate different designs for this particular drag device, and then uh, the art engineering company achieved 3DB uh, quieter uh, performance uh, in terms of the noise on the uh, ground for steep approach. So when landing. When uh, while the landing of uh, aircraft, when it is approaching the flyovers or the civilian area, uh, it is required to have a fighter system. So with this design, with this air brake, air brake attached to the propeller, uh, uh, propulsion systems in the aircraft, uh, uh, the ATA could able to achieve a 3 dB fighter in noise um, in the landing configurations. And this is the testimony from the senior technical advisor from, from, from the ATA engineering that and they have seen the value of simulations to uh, validate their designs, uh, whether they are able to achieve the uh, proposed design uh, criteria of uh, quieter noise uh, configurations or not. And the last uh, topic of the session is uh, the, the, the flow of these safety solutions to aerospace and uh, Here, uh, 
the Equit Corporation used the Flow EFD for optimizing optimizing the fuse loss. And here, what we see is uh, the cavity of the landing gear, uh, which is also part of the fuse loss, bigger fuse loss. Uh, and then uh, the Flow EFD used for the predicting the aerodynamic loads uh, because these are important to see the uh, the performance or the design performance of the uh, the uh, the landing gear struts because uh, here we can see um, simulations are used for uh, different opening configurations uh, for the big doors and small doors and the small doors are connected to the landing gear struts and uh, by by looking at the aerodynamic loads uh, it is possible to uh, improve the systems uh, of the uh, of the connections kinematic connections so that uh, the system, the the structure would be more stringent, so that uh, it would not undergo any uh, design failure problems. Uh, so flow flow EFD helped uh, to look at different uh, config opening configurations uh, of the uh, doors as well as the landing gear struts, so that uh, with that aerodynamic uh, data, uh, the Equit Corporation optimized it for the the, the kinematic uh, connections. Uh, for the better structural rigidity of the, these fuselage subsystems. And the next example of the flow UFD uh, uses in the aerospace industry is the uh, Middle, East, Middle East Technical University. And uh, they have used flow UFD for designing the high speed decoy UAV, unmanned aerial, aerial vehicle. Here, the idea to use the uh, flow UFD or safety simulation is to to get the uh, the required maximum velocity without having this strong shock occurrence by changing the combination of both wing and tail uh, designs. So here they have used uh, different combinations for wing both for the both wing and tail, and then they are, they they were able to achieve uh, the required cruise velocity without suffering with the uh, strong shock occurrence. So all this. Um, or be able to achieve by uses of this flow UFT. The next example is from the company called Cunetic, Cunetic and uh, it's interesting uh, application of a CFD by using the flow UFD. Here, this company is into uh, designing uh, the space capsule for uh, for transporting the astronauts uh, into the extra space, uh, and then. Uh, the the uses of the CFD here is to see the uh, the pressures the pressure loads on the uh, on the bones of the uh, astronauts uh, sitting inside this capsule, and the the working conditions inside the capsules are modeled in the CFD flow UFD, and the results are uh, validated the results from the flow UFD calculations with this uh, uh, working conditions of the capsule are validated well with the design spec, and here you can see that. Uh, the bone density uh, uh, design spec to be less than 10 kilo are, are achieved uh, by the uh, by the given design of the the space shuttle interior uh, interior space design, and we will also see the the CFD velocity contours in the different bays where uh, the the legs are of the uh, the astronauts uh, will be accommodated, and then the pressures on this um, astronaut body or the legs and the tau they influence the bone density uh it, it, it's, it's a different totally different working conditions inside the space shuttle and it's a it's a very innovative uh, uh, example of uh, using the cfd solutions under to the flow of team uh, from these companies like q and tick for this kind of designs and the final uh, example for the use of uh, flow of D on uh, the aerospace industry is from the radio and our communications. And here they have used for um, designing the, the communication systems. Here you can see um, uh, the, it's a communication system sitting at the bottom of the aircraft and the, 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 casing, the casing of this communication system to be uh, aerodynamically efficient so that it can help the so, it, so that it can it cannot interrupt the communications, and there would be you know a smooth communication, and there is no barrier because of any uh, unwanted aerodynamic performances. So, uh, using flow EFD, they could able to see uh, the accurate force calculations on this casing of uh, the communication system, 
uh, further it is um, um, I'll discourage them to go for the oversizing or a different construction. And also uh, it can, uh, the flow of D would, would able to help them to um, have different design configurations for keeping the cooling fins because these communication devices uh, dissipate a, a certain amount of heat and there's a need to keep the cooling fins. And again, that should not affect the aerodynamic performance of this case uh, for the better communication purposes. So flow FD, uh, uses of the flow FD is a real uh, value addition to this kind of companies uh, uh, by, the, by performing the safety solutions. Uh, with that, I uh, close the session and this is a time for question and answers. You can also uh, uh, post your questions uh, to the to these emails mentioned in the slide, maybe uh, later on, and we are more than happy to uh, have your questions answered. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes, uh, there's a question on uh, design optimization. Does design optimization come as part of Star System? Uh, within Star System, we have a design manager. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, you, you could be able to perform design optimization studies using the design manager, uh, be it a, a single objective or multi objective. So, you can do trade off studies uh, to get uh, you know, optimized design uh, from, from these kind of studies. Uh, please feel free to um, uh, ask your questions uh, either by reaching out us by email. Uh, we're more than happy to answer your questions. Yeah, there's one more question. Can I do FSI within STAR? Yes, uh, in one of the slides we explained that yeah, FSI at different uh, levels of complexity is possible within the STAR system plus uh, one-way coupling or two-way coupling. Yeah, all those kinds of FSI problems are doable in, within the STAR system plus. Yeah. 